Why are you saying amen? It is because you are one of the people who will receive mercy tonight. Why is your amen higher than your neighbors? It is because the gospel of the Lord Jesus will open the door of mercy for you tonight. Why are you standing up to shout a big amen? It is because all the works of the devil in your life, the gospel of the Lord Jesus will bring them to end tonight. Hear this, O oh people. What has the gospel brought? The gospel. What it has brought? It brought mercy, yes, sir. Oh, Makosolia. Reposoli Makayaba. What has the gospel of the Lord Jesus brought? The gospel. What the gospel brought? What the gospel brought? What the gospel of the Lord Jesus brought? The gospel of the Lord Jesus brought mercy. No wonder blind Bartimaeus received This night is the night of miracle. A night of miracle. Miracle. Every arrow of sadness that had been thrown into your life, mercy will remove them tonight in the name of Jesus. It goes for it's blood joy. It will take away sadness. It goes for it takes away sickness. It destroys all the powers of darkness. The gospel. We who can never laugh will begin to laugh tonight. I see a hand. That is moving after you. What the hand is doing. They are saying they won't allow you to receive your own miracle. But, but I hear the voice of the Lord tonight. When some people are saying they will not make it possible for you to receive it, I heard the sound of the Lord say, For God, all things are possible. For God, all things are possible. What do you want God to do for you tonight? He's asking you tonight. It's, it's left to you. Whatever you want God to do is left to you. What is your problem? What is the battle you have been fighting? Who are those who have been saying they will not allow you to receive miracles? The Lord says, All things are possible for him who believes. Tonight, the voice of the Lord has spoken. Do you know where you are standing there? You are out of your sickness and disease tonight. Yakapolia. You are out of your sickness and disease tonight. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, as I am talking to you, in the name of Jesus. By the word of the Lord from tonight, every garment of sickness and disease, suffering and poverty, they are consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, Not until I invite you to the floor. As I am speaking, every bondage that has banded you, even in your dream, even in your dream, even in life, in real life, in your going out and coming, every bondage, bondage of poor body, bondage of poor bondage of evil dreams, bondage of death in your life now. If you don't want it, as I pray for you, you speak amen. Come on, 
Are you alive here? I command tonight that every garment of poverty and sickness, fire of the Lord, consume them tonight in the name of Jesus. I command that bondage to be broken in your life in the name of Jesus. I want you to get ready now. Anybody who wants to compete, you can only carry the baby whose arms are raised. I can see many miracles God has already done. I have seen somebody who brought a sick person. When the sick person began to pray, the sickness was removed. And the person who brought the sickness, he became sick. If you cannot pray this hour, so that I want to encourage you to pray very well tonight so that the battle somebody is overcoming beside you does not come into your life. Yes. I want you to open your ears. Everything I am saying here upon the altar of the Lord, I am asking you, this is the hour of mercy. If you are here tonight and you desire mercy from the Lord, I want you to summon Corinth with all your sin and shout, Lord, have mercy on me! Let me tell you this one. Get me ready for the prayers. Don't sit down. Our father was in a mighty revival. In that revival. I never knew that it was the cloth that covered even the problem of many. Everything you are covering with this, your people, so that it. you cannot tell even anybody. So and you are groaning under um, it. I want you to pray for the healing. I decree that the Holy Spirit will locate that problem that is making you to grow tonight and it shall be out of your life in Jesus' name. I want you to look here. Baba, mama, cannot draw. Oh, one wrong. One woman was lame. Baba, oh no, she draw. How? What she draw do you? This is how it happened. Oh, you no draw in the night. Oh, ba lejo. She received a visitor in a dream. A lejo yeni onfewa ki. That visitor said. He wants to come and greet me. Many of the people who are in trouble today, you receive some of the troubles in your life. In the openly tonight. Many of the people who are in trouble today, you receive some of the troubles in your Every battle that had been deposited in your life through dreams and nightmares by the power of the Lord tonight, they will disappear in the name of Jesus. Listen. I am not here alone. God the Father is here with us. God the Son is here with us. God the Spirit is here with us. In the name of Jesus. And the anointing of all the servants of God. The anointing of all the servants of God. We are standing upon the covenant of the Lord. And the covenant of the God. You will get out of your problem tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to listen and be patient. How did that happen? This was the way it happened. Look here very well. That person 
That person was like this, crawling. That person came in around 2 a.m. And came with a load on his head. And knocked at the door. As he knocked at the door, that your visitor has come, a stranger has come, knocked at the door. And immediately he knocked the door. That woman had rose up in her dream, opened the door for her, and the two of her is for her. If you don't get out of your problem tonight, maybe some other time. Jesus does not postpone his miracles. Now, now, now is Jesus' time. I want you to open your eyes and look at me. And that woman left her bed. I'm talking about reality. And open the door. As he opened the door, hey, and this stranger came inside. And carried that load inside. In that place where that woman was sitting, on her bed, and that stranger sat with her on the bed. And said, woman, I, I, I and, the, and the stranger said, for a long time I had wanted to come in. There was no way, but today you have had a great August visitor because you opened the door. Hey, I want you to be patient. Listen. As the, as the stranger spoke to her, and she said, take this your load. And she collected that load in her dream. And the stranger told her, see me up. And that stranger was crawling before her. The same way she crawled in, she crawled out. And the door closed, and the woman returned. She saw the stranger off. By the time that woman woke up from her dream, she was lame. She became lame. Hey. Most of the battles you are fighting in your life are caused by people who know you very well. When the fire, when the revival was on, they brought in that lame person. We, we were almost closing the revival, about to share the grace. And I just pray. And that lame, that lame rose up on her feet. Hey. Your life that became lame in the dream. Your work that became lame. Your business that became lame. It is because your life is lame. That is why you have not found a helper. It is because your life is lame. That is why you cannot stand among your peers. It is because your life has become lame. What, what you ought to have done for one year, you are there 11 years and you have not achieved. I command in the name of Jesus. I command over the life of somebody tonight. The spirit of lameness that you are tired of. It is enough. 